away from this. We do not run. Act normal. I keep seeing him. Kate, you'll make yourself crazy. I'm sorry I wrecked your plans the other night. I just wanted to treat you right. I'd hate it if folks thought we were waiting for soldiers to pick us up. What do they call them? Patriot youth? I could die now, and I wouldn't care. My soldier. <gasps> Beth, better go call the nurse. Take me to the hospital. Or not. She's a strong woman. You stay away from my wife. Do your best and join the rest. Women to the factory, men to the front. Don't be his first helper. Do your best and join the rest. Women to the factory, men to the front. Don't be his first helper. What kind of recruitment office is this? So I speak Italian. When is someone going to see that as a good thing? The war's over. Look, I make bombs that bash away at Mussolini. Where do you think my loyalties lie? Decision's out of my hands, Mr. Moretti. So, did you settle on a recipe for your new life skills seminar? Yes. It's practical and easy. The girls are all wanting tips for juggling work and home. Thanks to you, Victory Munitions will draw new recruits in droves. No, it's just a few after-hour classes to make the factory more appealing to girls. Well, you're certainly playing your part. Yeah, I suppose I am. If this goes well, Mr. Akins may have me supervise the whole workshop series. You ask me, it's a sad day when you have to teach girls how to make their way around a kitchen. Well, don't hold dinner. I'm gonna work late tonight. Hey, handsome. How'd you make out? Do the girl a favor and spread the word. Sign up and ship out. Take a couple. Come on, Marco. Pass them out to your friends. Don't be Hitler's helper. You want to watch your mouth. Easy, Tiger. We all know Marco's a war hero waiting to happen. So he should enlist. He keeps trying. They won't let him. Why not? I don't know, because he's Italian? Still got his father cooped up in that internment camp. You sure you're not taking on too much? It's been two months. Doctor says it's good for me to get out. What about trying those life skills at home? Seems you don't like being here. Trying my best, Bob. Really, I am. I'm not home by six. There's stew in the icebox. See you tonight. Missed you on this morning's ride. Figured the best way to fight the Axis today was to sleep in. What happened to you last night? Game five of the Stanley Cup. Some soldier boy was buying the rounds. Pace yourself, the Leafs may be on a roll. Must rise by as much as 30% if the country hopes to meet increasing demand. All Canadians need to step up and put their shoulder to the wheel. What I said back there. I had no idea your father was locked up in Pitawawa. I want to apologize. What? It's not like you put him in there. Well, what did they take him in for? My parents ran a fireworks company. Government doesn't like Italians that can blow things up. Plus, he was part of a listed club, Sons of Italy. That's the one-two punch. He's a good man behind bars. What did the judge say? What judge? Three hours after Mussolini declared war, the RCMP came to our house and cuffed him, dragged him off like a dog. For questioning, they say. It took us three months to find out he was in Petawawa. Marco, that's awful. They say he should get a hearing by winter, if he's lucky. Well, there must be something he can do. Well, there should be, but there isn't. workshop? Count me out. I got better things to do tonight. Like swish out my undies. No big deal making do with a bit less sugar. I can already boil an egg. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get worse, you can bet. They'll start rationing milk, butter, coffee. Coffee? Even meat. My father says they'll bring in restrictions by degrees, so there's no mass panic. Maybe I could use a few helpful hints. You're off the beam, Andrews. It must have slipped, that's all. McCray.
If I didn't know better, I'd say I smelled drink on that girl. Kate? No. I, I mean, she may have had a, a beer with friends last night, but that's all. But she's a Christian and all that. Have her deliver this to supply and keep her on inventory until she's got her wits about her. Careful. I seen Wally mark his bottle. You've been thirsty since you got back. Your mother, I heard she passed. Yeah, well, my life goes on. Your life should do more than just go on. I make my own way. Do what I want. You gotta walk the lonesome valley. You gotta walk it by yourself. Come on. Ain't nobody else can walk it for you. What's the matter, church mouse? Devil got your tongue? I'm no church mouse. You got that? Yes, I do. seminar to begin in 20 minutes. This dish is surprisingly delicious and economical too. Mm. With nationwide rationing starting, we all must learn to make do with less. Now I know what you're thinking. How can I put another creature's tongue in my mouth? Or just got to buy me a drink. But I tell you, <laughs> beef tongue is certain to be available and cheap. Follow this recipe and your family will think they're eating sirloin. Or dog food. <laughs> Now, uh, you, uh, add two fistfuls of breadcrumbs. I'm going. Uh, minced onion, an egg, season with salt, a little pepper, a dash of Worcester, and if you're feeling particularly daring, a uh, half a cup of ketchup. Then you squish it all together and you shape it in a well-greased pan, plop it in the oven, medium for one hour and presto, a delicious and nutritious meal. I'm sticking with boiled eggs. Uh, don't forget, uh, next time we explore the wonders of tapioca. I promise you, Mr. Aikens, those girls will one day thank me for that recipe. Besides, Rome wasn't built in a day. Except they got to eat spaghetti and drink vino while they were building it. Yeah, well, what do you want me to do? The G-Co plant gives tap dance lessons. Do I look like someone who tap dances? No. That's what I'm getting at. There are hundreds of men at that camp. You can't help them all. Marco Moretti is a good person. His family is being torn apart. We're at war, Gladdy. His father may well be locked up for good reason. We can't have enemies of the state running free within our border. Oh, it's flagrant prejudice. The Italians, they've been targeted. No, they haven't. We've interned the Germans, Ukrainians, Japanese. You are the one that taught me about noblesse oblige, to whom much is given. Much is asked, yes. Only you're always the one asking. Locked up for two years. And all this man wants is his day in court. All I'm asking is for you to pick up the phone and call Uncle Ward. The Ministry of Defense will not involve itself with this political minefield. Oh, it is nothing for him to schedule a hearing, and you know it, Daddy. So you'll make the call, and I can give the Moretti some good news? If you promise, stay away from that family. I don't want you cavorting with the wrong people. Well, what do you want in return? It's your mother's birthday on Sunday. I have nothing to say to her. How come uniting this family is so important to you? What about your own? Why is everything with you a horse trade? Because I am the block you are chipped from, Gladdy. Don Metz can't clear it. Detroit fails to get a shot. The puck rolls out to center. 
Schreiner gets it and shoots ahead. Come on, buddy. And here's the breakaway. Golden going right in. He shoots. He scores. Three nothing. The Leafs are pounding them. A team coming back from three losses like that. It's never been done. So Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Not yet. But we're tied for it. We just got to win one more game. Go Leafs! Go Leafs! <laughs> mm. Want to dance? Let's cut it. Honey, it's okay. When we've been together three months, who's gonna care? <laughs> Something wrong? for my pillow. I feel like the walking dead. Leaves one today, Betty. It's a damn wonder. Not to make a guy think anything could happen. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's like Hitler. He thinks he's won, but the series isn't over. I'll get my coffee. <clears throat> I wasn't talking about Hitler. Last batch. No more lead for toys anymore, just for tanks and bullets. Thought you were staying late. The workshop was uh, abbreviated. I'm not giving up. Not yet. That's the stew from the icebox? No. It's ground sirloin. From work. It's free. All right. What do you think? It's not bad. Hmm. I told you to stay out of this. I thought you'd be grateful. I got your father a hearing. Yeah, in two days. That's too soon. Che succede? Ha trovato un'udienza per papà. Sì? Sì, però in due giorni, ma. What are you afraid of? My father's a stubborn, hot-tempered old man with no lawyer. Non lo so, forse lo possiamo spostare, ma... Sì, spostare? Postpone it? Why? You've been waiting nearly two years. Try, Marco. The train alone takes a full day to get there. So don't take the train. Well, I don't have a car. But you do, don't you? Well... In a manner of speaking, I mean, it's my fiancé's. It's good enough for me. You drive. I've got a job. I got you the hearing. Isn't that good enough? Well, it's no good to me if I can't get there. Come on, Gladys. This is our one chance to bring my father home. Oh, we simply drive to Petawawa? Marco, il lelo nostro angelo. My mom's been praying. First thing tomorrow morning. Thank God I haven't cashed in those gas rations. Aspetta. Grazie. Grazie. Okay. Questa è nostra opportunità, la portiamo a casa. La portiamo a casa, ti giuro. Tied one on last night. What is it? Never mix, never worry. Mm. No, you can't keep this up. Having a good time keeps me from remembering things I want to forget. Running away won't fix it. Your dad is dead. We agreed, buddy. A normal life from here on. That's what I want, just like you. Good job. I'm a guy like Ivan. Go wash your face. Come. On. I'll make sure he downplays the sons of Italy. My father says it's a fascist hotbed. Well, my father was too busy playing Bocci and singing Verdi to plot war. Okay, well, what if I taught him how to sing God Save the King? <laughs> 
Shall it be a brooch from soldier Frank or earrings from Airman Georgie? Both with them and Moretti booked off without permission. Great. Now I'm short in every department. I tell you, spring hits, folks want to go pick daisies. I uh, could have used some support yesterday. I'm sorry, Mrs. Corbett. The seminars are supposed to attract women to work the factory, not turn them into vegetarians. I'm providing valuable life skills. Yeah? You ask a girl what she wants? Because I tell you, it ain't beef tongue. And I suppose you think you could do better. Yeah, I do. What do you say? I'm saying I'm giving the next life skill seminar. Well, that I want to see. We're Italian. If the house was on fire, we wouldn't leave until the pasta was served. <laughs> we have made good time. <laughs> She's excited. Seeing my father means a lot to her. Have you heard anything from him? His letters were censored. When our landlord saw them marked POW, he kicked us out. We moved three times now in two years. Oh, Pops doesn't write us anymore. That's truly awful. What judge won't take pity? He just has to convince them that he's learned from his mistakes. He's not going to admit to something he didn't do. Well, does he want to be right, or does he want to be free? I don't know, Gladys. Which would you choose? I mean, if he tells the judge that the police made a big mistake, he'll be locked in that place till kingdom come. So your last job was a full-time? Full-time, no. Uh, not since, uh... Well, not since before the war. So 1938? No, Great War. 1915, I joined up. And did your duty? Yes, I did. But, uh, like they say on the wireless, there's no excuse for not doing your part. Uh, well, let's see. Um, well, they, they need uh, volunteers to read to soldiers? Yeah, I did my volunteering when I went over to fight Jerry the first time. Growing up, I, I always thought I'd uh, be a machinist. After the war, though, uh, folks thought I wouldn't survive. There's no use training a corpse, eh? And what I'm saying is, uh, I know things. I'm good with my hands. Most of the manual labor is covered by women nowadays, uh, except for the heavy stuff. And given your uh, cir circumstances... No gimps. I get it. <laughs> you know, with those eyes, I doubt you ever got a chance to serve. Did you? There's a scrapyard west of the city. I can get you an interview, but uh, the guys over there, they, they may give you some, some guff. I handled the hun, I can handle some guff. saw your friend taking a nip in the storeroom yesterday. Something's not right with that girl. What am I supposed to do about it? A woman of faith lost her way. Church might do her some good. Church? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. All that God and sinner stuff's done more to damage her mind than anything. She's never been to my church. No. And she won't be. Well, change your mind. Amy Assembly, I'll be uh, giving the homily this Sunday. No reservations necessary. Well, I got plenty of those. These are the enemy aliens. Those red moons on their backs. Yeah, targets. Bullseyes in case they get any ideas. It's hard to believe we're still in Canada. Cera, papa? No, mamma. Non cera. Afternoon, officer. And a lovely one at that. We're here to see Chiro Moretti. No entry without prior authorization. Except we have authorization. Mr. Moretti has a hearing tomorrow. And how do you know that? Hearings are strictly confidential. Well, the same way I know how under the law, Mr. Moretti is entitled to representation. 
che sta succedendo? E lo che vuole? Miss Chiro Moretti has no such rights under the War Measures Act. Step out of the car. E lo che te. Ha detto che papà non c'ha diritti. Eh? Non c'ha diritti, papà. Mm. My name is Gladys Witham. Mm. Witham. Mm -hmm. Witham Foods. Well, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but I've already eaten. Ward Witham at the Ministry of Defense is my uncle. He arranged for Mr. Moretti's hearing. And what role are you playing in this? Sir, we just want to see my father. Look, we have reason to believe hey. that. Did I ask you to get out of the car? Both of you. Back in the car. Che disse, Marco? Che vuole? Dobbiamo stare nella macchina. Eh? Vuole che rimaniamo nella macchina, ma. And now what do we do? I have no idea. First I was afraid they wouldn't let us in. Now I'm afraid they won't let me leave. Now, we all know cold cream is a girl's best friend, but as women of industry, our skin faces industrial strength attacks. That's where lemon juice comes in. Squeeze a little into your nightly regimen to strip away the cordite that yellows the skin, and you'll be singing like a canary without looking like one. <laughs> Doesn't that feel luscious? <laughs> Thank you. Now let's move on to makeup. None of us want to look like rusty hens either. But we can't slather on expensive cosmetics and expect to make it till payday. So I will show you how a little bit can go a long way. Can I have a volunteer? Oh, oh, oh. Mrs. Corbett? Oh, Stai bene, pa? Ma chi è? Tua moglie? Ti sposa nel digine? No, pa, friend, only a friend. Oh, Sit down. No physical contact, no passing of messages. English only. Any Italian this interview is over, understood? English, ma. Only English, okay? You still look so beautiful. <laughs> Mia, I'm old now. Oh, Ciro. Ciro, mm. you need to come home. The business, it's good? Business? Yeah. Uh, very good. Yeah. Tomorrow, an interview. Very important. You listen to Marco. China. I think for myself, huh? Is this stupid bastard? No. Listen to Marco. Caro mio, è importante che tu hai detto il figlio. Ascoltalo. This interview is over. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, Marco, hey. don't. Hey. Stop. It's been two years since they saw each other. Please. I'll take Mrs. Moretti out to the hallway. Give father and son a moment. Remember what we talked about. Pa, are you okay? <laughs> pa, there's a hearing tomorrow. You're not going to have a lawyer. The judge is going to ask you questions. Just give him simple answers in English. And tell him how much you love the country and support the war. Pa. There's some things you can't talk about, things you can't say. Uh, listen to me. We love you. I know you can do this. You're a strong man, a good man. We want you back at home. We want to be a family again, Pa. I love you.
Now, Vaseline under the lipstick not only moistens, it protects the lips and makes the color last. Voila. Kissed by the sun, not mashed on by chemicals. I've already applied the blush, Mrs. Corbett. No need to do the job for me. <laughs> Bob? I've got a splitting headache. Please. Another workshop? Wasn't mine. Bob, I have to wonder if maybe you went out more, these attacks wouldn't come so often. I have been going out. I more. don't mean the Legion. It wasn't the goddamn Legion. They were looking for a job, Lorna. All shoulders to the wheel of war kind of thing. All shoulders except mine. I, I dragged my sorry ass down to that scrap metal yard out in the west end of the city. They didn't give me the time of day. Bob. Sometimes I think I should have just lain in that field and let myself. You didn't give up, and I'm damn glad. Hmm? You know, Trevor Murphy had a stroke last month. With his son Boyd overseas, Pauline's put the new stand up for sale. No, no. No, I bet she'd sell the business cheap. A cripple on the corner, Lore. No, oh, Bob. I you... might as well be begging for spare change with a tin cup. Butcher had a skirt steak. Last one, a miracle, I'd say. How about I cook it up medium? Won't be too tough. Hmm? And I didn't. That's some fish you got. It's a social club, that's all. The sons of Italy, they're no fascists. What do they think? We're going to overthrow the government? Huh? I say whatever I want. It's a free country. I don't do nothing wrong. But just tell him you never went to a meeting. Just tell him you never associated with the black shirts. I went, but it was just a talk. Oh, I never no, did nothing no. wrong. Hey, pa. They know this. They're not idiots. That's why they're gonna ask you about Mussolini. Nah, you don't know. I do, pa. I do. Look, they're gonna ask you about Mussolini. And when they do, you have to denounce him, okay? I rot in prison, eat bad food, work like a slave, and you ask me to denounce a oh. man who, who put the fresh meat on the table of every Italian, no. gave him medicine and doctors? I'm not, I'm not gonna denounce a great man. Ah! Shut up! Hey, 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 fight them, don't fight me. You make bombs that kill Italians. What kind of man kills his own people, huh? I'm smelling smoke. Oh, they're listening. You bastards! Bastardi! We're finished here. Get off me! Oh, oh, Let's go! me! Ah! 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 You take his spirit, you take his mind! What's going on? What are you doing? Ma! Ah. Viva l'Italia! Viva il Duce! No, Pa! We're detaining your friend. Put them under guard. Both of them. No! Let's go. No! 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 Welcome to the party, soldier. Hi. Now, tell me this was a bad idea. <laughs> well, it's swell. It's real swell. Got your favorite? <sighs> Onion and tomato. Mm. <clears throat> Can you stand it? 
sweet as a rose. <laughs> Boy, they're doing good out there. <sighs> Look, if you don't want me, I'll... I want you. I do. It's just... What? I, I said we'd take our time, but... I was hoping to see a little action before Hitler invades. Are you with me? After ten long years, the Toronto Maple Leafs look to be minutes away from winning the Stanley Cup, folks. Best present I've got so far. It's enough to make me want another go. Mm, I love it. Thank you. It comes from Paris, or so I'm told. I've never actually been there myself. Mm -hmm. Well, marching the Champs Elysees after you kick out the Nazi swine. Oh, no, that won't be me, kid. The farthest I'll be going is Vancouver Island. Mm -hmm. You gonna fight Japan? No, I'm not on your life. And if they ship me overseas, I'll desert. You mean you're one of them cowards? No, I'm on your side. They got me defending the home front. But you won't fight overseas? Hell no, and they can't make me. I date soldiers. Not cowards who swan about in uniform but don't fight. Get up. Uh, look, so I'm a zombie. What are you? You sleep with strangers and you take it out in trade. There's a common word for that, too. Love. Yeah, that's what I find in decent men before they ship out. Right, jigger it any way you want, sugar. At least I know who I am. Do you? Because it seems to me I'm the only one who can walk out of here with my head held high. I'll keep it. And lucky for you, your friends will never see it. You can wear this secret under your pretty dresses. Marco. We're holding him for questioning. Questioning? That's what you told his father two years ago. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? We're at war, Miss Wortham. I suggest you think about whose side you're on. Marco is Canadian. He's one of us. I won't leave this camp without him. You've done one stupid thing already. Let's avoid another. Sign out and leave. Where's the telephone? You're not making a phone call. Well, then I'm not leaving either. You should know we're not above interning a woman. Or you wouldn't dare lock me up. Oh, I'm not talking about you, Miss Willow.
Okay. You weren't home when I got in last night. What am I doing? I don't know anymore. Something's wrong. With both of us. Get your clothes on. We're going out. Don't ever come back here, Miss Willem. What happened? They brought in some guy to question me all night. And they called him out for a phone call, and when he came back, they told me to get out. Why? No idea. Guess they got what they needed. Just drive. God's gift to us is his grace, a divine blessing, freely given. Grace with mercy travel together. These two blessings travel together like two sisters. Grace cannot be bought. Grace cannot be earned. Why did you bring me here? Grace cannot be taken away. Just listen. Grace is love without limit. Yes. Love mm -hmm. without reason. God loves you for your virtues and for your sins. There's the Corbett whistle. Lord. Look at you coat of paint, which here spruce it up nice. Needs a match, put it out of its misery. Or if you let it go to rack and ruin. The magazines he did have on offer were garbage. They were all organized wrong. I mean, he had a recipe in sport rags, cheek by jowl. Well, one thing you know is your news. <sighs> That's better. Whoever you are, wherever you've been, he's at your side. He sees you, he knows you, accepts who you are. All he asks is that you be true to your heart and accept God's grace within you. Just as I am, I'm in you. Just as I am And waiting now Just as I am Just as I am Just as I am Fighting to be Just as I am Leon's saying a thing or two Mercy, Grace it's hogwash. It's a start, Kate. It's a way back. A child of God should be able to grieve her father's death. Me, I feel nothing except relief. That man can rot in hell for all I care. Crap wartime rubber. Viva il duce. That hellhole turned him. 
He didn't do anything. A free country doesn't lock a man up for his thoughts. You defend him, they throw you in jail. They can take away your rights, Marco. They can take away everything now. I can't help it. He's my father. Like it or not, he's blood. Hey. hey! They are celebrating the Stanley Cup win down at the gardens. Grab a sweater. Let's go. I can't. It's supposed to be fun. I know, Ivan, but it... it isn't. Not for me. <laughs> what do you mean, it's the Leafs? Look, you're a great guy. Please stop. You're amazing. Last night was amazing. I'm gone on you. No, I'm not. On you. I'm sorry, Ivan. Really, I am. Do you know how many girls would jump at this chance? We're meant for other people, Ivan. I have to follow my heart. I have to. I'm an idiot. No. Ivan. Hello, Daddy. Where's the birthday girl? Powdering her nose. Oh. So, things work out for your friend? Thanks to your phone call. What phone call? To the camp, Petaboa. You went there? And I've learned my lesson. Honestly, I have. Well, I made no phone call. But somebody did. Was it Uncle Ward? Your friend is free. You're home safe. Let's keep it that way. Don't go sniffing. It's good of you to come. This will mean the world to your mother. I know. That's why I came. stand is perfect. Don't blame me if our savings get blown to smithereens in the next windstorm. Come, it's been there 20 years. It'll last another 20. Still, I think we should take out insurance. <laughs> the day you find a silver lining, I swear I'll drop dead from shock. <laughs> that? Eugene. Eugene! Surprise, Ma. <laughs> oh, Jane. Jane. It's you. In the flesh. Oh, some kind of miracle. Were you discharged? Even better. Ace Gunner promoted to sergeant. First leave, then a war bond tour. You hear that, Bob? Jane's a sergeant. Sergeant? Come here, Jane. Good work, son. Oh, 